Okay, this evening I'm out at the range and I'm going to conduct a very simple little test tonight. I've got four different boxes of Winchester T22 target ammo and each of these is from a different lot number. Some of it is uh, quite old, some of it was purchased recently. And I'm going to shoot a 10 shot group with each lot number out of my CZ511 and we're going to see what kind of a group I get out of each lot number just as a comparison. So I'm going to get right at that while the conditions are good, there's no wind and uh, the only bad thing about tonight is there's some black flies around, but other than that, it's pretty good conditions. Okay, get the barrel warmed up. Two shots first. As a final comparison, I'm going to shoot a group with the Winchester Dynapoint because this rifle seems to like Dynapoint, at least it has in the past. So we're going to shoot a group with that just to see how it compares with the uh, T22. Well, we're back from the range and shot uh, four different groups with the Winchester T22, four different lot numbers. And I figured it would be a little easier to review the targets here, where there's a good source of light, there's no wind, and there's no bugs. So first off, we're going to have a look at the group I shot with this particular box of ammo. If we can get the camera to focus here, you can see 1EB1CM, that's the lot number stamped on the flap of the box. And this is from a, a bunch of ammo that I bought, oh, probably three years ago at uh, a local Walmart. They were closing out this particular T22 so I bought what they had in stock and maybe that was a mistake because here's the group 10 shots, 50 yards. It's a pretty damn huge group. Let's see what it measures here uh, outside to uh, outside. And it's about uh, 3 and 5 eighths I would say, thereabouts extreme spread between those two shots there. So that's that's rather poor performance by uh, any standard because the uh, rifle I'm firing out of is uh, it's a pretty accurate rifle for the most part if you feed it decent ammo. We'll move on to uh, the next group of uh, rounds that I fired here and we'll see if we can read the lot number off that box and that is uh, 1EB11M and this is some stuff that I bought just the other day at my local Canadian Tire store. Once again, it was on clearance. They had uh, about a half dozen boxes and I thought, ah, oh, what the heck, I'll try a few more of these and see if they're any better than the last time around. They were cheap. Um, here's the group, once again, not really what you call a great group. We've got a fairly big extreme spread there between those, those two and it's looking like about three three and three eighths thereabouts between those outside outside two shots. Okay, we got our third lot of T22 and this one here is 2RA72N and that was purchased at uh, another local store, a home hardware store. 
for $2.79. I bought that a few years ago. I guess I just wanted to try a box of T22 again to see if it was any better. And there's a 10-shot group at 50 yards with uh, that particular box of ammo. It's a little bit better. We've got an extreme spread at 50 yards of about two and a half inches. Still, still nothing to write home about by any means. And we're going to move on to our very last group fired with, uh, you can tell this is not a Winchester box, this is actually an old uh, uh, Imperial Dominion plastic box. This is a bunch of Winchester T22 that I got probably 20 years ago and it was packed bulk but it was marked T22. And uh, I have no idea what the lot number is but I do know that when I got it I repackaged it into different boxes and labeled it so it looks exactly, I got a couple of rounds of it left, it's, uh, it looks exactly like every other type of T22 going. Got the cantaloupe there in the case, we got the uh, plain lead bullet. Anyway, this stuff uh, is far, far better. And here's the 10 shot group fired with it at 50 yards once again. And if we look at the outside uh, between those two furthest holes, it's about an inch and a half. So that's far better, that old stuff was far better. And you'll also notice that there's some, uh, some goo on here. And that's actually, if you've seen the last video I posted, that's actually uh, the target that the fly was on when I hit the fly. There's actually a fly walked across this target, and he was a very unlucky fly. He got splatted with some, uh, with a 22 bullet. So there you go, there's, there's extra evidence that I got the fly. He's, his guts are on the target. Anyway, to put all this in comparison, into perspective, uh, I'm going to show you a couple other targets that I shot while I was out there. And just to show you what the rifle will do, here's some uh, Winchester Dynapoint. It's not expensive ammo, it's fairly, fairly cheap, but it always seems to shoot well in that uh, CZ-511. There's a group, 10-shot group, with that Dynapoint. And, you know, you're looking at, uh, you know, an inch and seven-eighths thereabouts for 10 shots with the Dynapoint. They don't make out that that's supposed to be target ammo by any means. And last but not least, here's a group that was a 10 shot group with CCI Blazer. This is the uh, Blazer that's actually made by CCI, not the federal stuff. And it shot a group of only about an inch and oh, inch and three eighths probably for 10 shots outside edges to of each hole. So you know that little rifle will shoot a good group. And, uh, you know, CCI Blazer isn't exactly noted as being great, accurate ammunition. It's very reliable, but it, it's never been noted as extremely accurate. And uh, it basically outshot the so-called target Winchester ammo. The only thing that came close to it was, was that 20-year-old stuff that I don't even know the lot number of. So, I guess, kind of to summarize kind of my feelings about all this is that, you know, it looks like Winchester's quality control is... Uh, not what it used to be and also it also pays to test different lot numbers um, you can find ammo that's accurate in your rifle but just because you go out and buy more of the same brand and product number doesn't mean you're going to get the same ammo really all you're going to get is a you know a rough approximation of it um, you pretty much have to go buy a, a small quantity of a given lot number and shoot it and then if it turns out to be really good and accurate you buy as much of that lot number as you can and uh, and if you don't find a good lot number we'll obviously stay away from it don't be like me and buy a whole whole pile of stuff that uh, isn't all that accurate although you know even the less than accurate ammo is useful for just plinking with a pistol at short range or something like that so anyway hopefully uh, some folks found that interesting and uh, we will talk to you in the next video